at a loss for words. I'm really proud of uh, the, the guys' effort all season uh, tonight um, for the last four years for some of these guys. I mean, tonight, I really don't even believe that it just happened. So right now, I'm still uh, still reeling a little bit, but we'll take it. It'll sink in at some point. Um, I, I do want to make uh, a point of thanking a few people that have been so instrumental to the success of the team. Uh, Amher Soccer and really a big part of Amherst College is built on the shoulders of, you know, Peter and Milton Gooding. Um, they were, Peter was a coach for years and years and years here and, and set the standard for the program that's terrific. Um, I personally want to thank Suzanne Coffey for taking the chance, a uh, 28 year old kid um, nine years ago, uh, and believing in, in our vision for the program. That was a big part of, of today's success and thinking of her. And then I think I have the best athletic director in the country in Don Falstick. Um, his, his constant support all the time is really allows us to coach and, and worry about coaching and these guys and you know, making the best student athlete experience possible. President Martin, um, who I'm sure wanted to be here, and, uh, is in, in our hearts and spirit. And then just for me, number one thing, all the assistant coaches, all the alumni that have worked so hard for this to happen, um, they are in my thoughts and, and, uh, and that's really what this is about. When we talk about I don't know, national championship sometimes, but I think some some targets are meant to be aimed at. They're not necessarily meant to be, uh, you know, hit, right? I mean, it's, it's, we're very path-oriented. It's all about the journey. Um, you know, you talk about national championship in sort of the abstract, and to be able to achieve it, uh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. What, what, I, I'm at a loss. So, we're very happy. <laughs> Questions for the athletes? Uh, Bryce, take us through your goal there in the 54th minute. Yeah, so I mean, um, both of them kicked me off, you know, great balls all day. I knew Singer and um, Orozco were always getting on the end of them. Um, so both kicked it out. Singer did a great job holding it off. Um, wasn't really much for me to do. He just laid it right through, split two guys, put me on a breakaway one on one with the goalie, and I just put it away. Really credit to Singer for that, the assist on that one. And Jackson, for yours to just talk about that, seeing that ball coming in from the corner. Yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful ball near post. I think just everybody's in there to play their role, and I just happened to get on the end of it. Could have been anyone. Great. And, and Thomas, you, were able, you gave up that goal early on. Um, what did you see, and what did you guys do defensively in order to shut everything down afterwards? Yeah, so they, um, they were very dangerous from wide areas when we crossed in. And one of the main things we really wanted to tighten up after that play was our marking in the midfield um, off the crosses. I think we did a great job of that. And full credit to my defense, who's battled for 90 minutes to get the win. Uh, Thomas, you spent plenty of time celebrating. How does it feel to be a national champion? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, it hasn't said it yet. It's been something, I mean, since I came to Amherst, it's something that we've talked about and really gotten very close on a number of occasions. But to actually just do it and pull it off, it's, it's the best thing ever. I mean, just to have our alumni here, to have our families here, do it for coach, it's, there's nothing better. Any last question for the athletes? Do you guys have any other thoughts to just come in? Anything else other than Tom's just thinking about? Yeah, I think there's just a ton going through your head when you're in the game. Just want to thank like all the alumni for coming out. Obviously, a huge, huge reason why we do this and why we love our program so much. And just coach, you know, the best coach in the country, just helping us get through the game, helping us defend when we had to grind out. And just really thankful that, he, that he's been here for us. Yeah, I mean, there's just incredible support from our alumni, our coaching staff. Um, throughout the three years I've been here, it's been incredible to see uh, the amount of effort they gets put into um, every single one of our games, preparing for the season, everything is just amazing. Um, Coach, just your thoughts on the comeback from being down a goal and uh, you know, uh, come, coming back from that early setback? Yeah, it's funny, like I think, over a four-year period, you know, you take so many different lessons from different games, and you have them in your in your back pocket. And there's a point at which I, I don't know, I forget what year it was, but we would go down a goal, and then we couldn't come back, and then we learned how to come back. And you know, tonight, I'm not sure we've we've only been trailing this year for like I think just the 14 minutes that we're down to Wesley. I'm pretty sure. Um, so we haven't been behind that much, and for us to respond five minutes later, I think was a test testament to the fact that. Um, they believe themselves, and we were going to keep knocking. And I thought we were getting chances early. We had a bunch of chances in the first half. We didn't quite put away. And the other thing, I mean, that Loris team, talk about being committed, well coached. I mean, they, they are awesome. And it, 
it's a shame at this level. I mean, the teams you're playing are so good. They're all you know, one bounce, one way or the other. Any team can be national champs. So Coach Rodman's got a lot to be proud of. And, and I'm proud of our guys, like you said, for coming back from being down. It's awesome. How, uh, how important is your size in a, in a situation like that? You're using, uh, especially with your defense, you know, coming down the stretch and you're able to, you know, out jump for a lot of balls, doing things like that. Um, yeah. When, we, when you put together a roster, you try to have a, a little bit of everything. And, and you know, um, and I think this particular group was really, really balanced in a lot of different ways. So we had guys that are super fast, like Chris Martin. And we have guys that are terrifically talented, you know, on the ball, like Nico. Nico scored three likes this year, or, you know, I mean, he's ridiculously talented. And we had other guys, you know, like Andrew Roscoe and Cameron Bean, that are, that I don't know if Roscoe lost a head ball all year. I mean, he, he's a beast. Um, and uh, so you try, to, you try to have a lot of different things. And this particular roster, the guys that ended up in the field, you know, that their size is definitely a, a, a positive for us. And we, we tried to use it. And, um, and it certainly helps us defend. We give up five goals all year. And a big piece of that was, you know, uh, being able to make plays in the box. Soccer, a lot goes into soccer. But teams that are successful are going to make plays in each 18-yard box, right? The attacking and defending. You want guys that can make plays, and those guys make plays in I just want to send a message on to my two young kids, like Lily and Ty are their names. Someday they'll watch this. I read a, I read a, uh, a poem to the guys in the pregame. Um, it's my favorite poem that I want to share with them. And it's by Shel Silverstein, and it's quick. And, and it goes, listen to, listen to the mustn'ts, child. Listen to, listen to the don'ts. Listen to the shouldn'ts, the impossible, the wants. Listen to the never haves, and listen close to me. Anything can happen, child. Anything can be. And so I hope my kids someday uh, watch this video and remember that you know a lot of people are going to tell you that you're not good enough they're going to tell you that you know um, you can't achieve something and if you, if you believe and you care and you work hard you can anything is possible in life um, that team out there showed me that so thanks for everything congratulations